right there's the thing the last video do now try and see if we can do everything now or connect up everything so that it works right so the first thing I want to do is to quickly display these two fragments at the bottom so I'm going to show you how to make a connection to all of the fragments and then you can decide how to hide and view them so I'm going to go to the main activity now and in the main activity I want to create a few declarations there at the top so I'm going to use a fragment manager and this is call it fragment manager we will also use fragments so I'm going to say fragment there and what I want to use is the button frag I want to use or get a hold to of the list frag I want to get a hold of the car info frag and I want to get a hold of the owner info fragment now before we do this let's just quickly go to the main activity and make sure that we've got IDs for all of them so this one is called list frag if you go down this fragment which is the button fragment let's just name this one as the button frag then this one you can see it is the car info frag so let's call it car info frag and then this one is the owner info frag so let's give the ID there owner info frag so make sure that you've got your IDs there now if the IDs are there we can go now back to the main activity and get a link to those so now here somewhere we're going to have the fragment manager equals get support fragment manager so that you work with the support libraries now let's get a hold of all of those fragments so I'm going to say button frag or let's start with the list frag list frag equals fragment manager dot find the fragment by its ID r dot ID dot list frag and now that gets you a hold of the list fragment so let's do the same for the button frag then it's also fragment manager dot find the fragment by its ID r dot ID dot button frag okay so now again that could be a problem let's just go to the bold and clean your project right so let's see if we can there we go button frag and then we'll have also the car info frag is fragment manager dot find the fragment by its ID r dot ID dot car info frag and then to get the the last fragment there which is the owner info frag we can also go and say fragment manager dot find the fragment by its ID and we called it owner info frag right so now we've got a connection to all of those fragments and what we want to do right at the start is to go to the fragment manager begin a transaction so that we can start showing and hiding fragments so the first one will be to show a specific fragment and we want to show the button fragment right at this at the beginning we also want to show the list frag we also want to show the car info frag and the one that we want to hide right at the start at the start is then the owner info frag and then we can go and start commit all of these changes right so you can choose on which one of these two to start right at the beginning so I'm going to start showing the car info frags so if we run this now uh, let's just see how it will look I'm going to show the uh, the picture first of the car information right let's see how it runs okay so you can see right at the start it shows only this fragment it's now hidden the owner info frag so let's do these two buttons to change between the two fragments so then if we click on owner info and on car info we can then make the changes so I'm going to copy this quickly and just paste it there so what do we want to do we want we do not want to do anything on the button frag it's already showing it the list frag is already showing so we only two things that we want is these two so I'm going to say if we click on BTN owner info then we want to show the owner info so this one will become show and this one will become hide okay so I'm going to copy this one again and let's use it on this button now if we click on the car info button we want to show the car info there and we want to hide the owner info All right so let's run this quickly again and see if it works right there it runs so it's showing the car info currently if I click on owner info it shows the owner information car info owner info car info owner info 
right so this one is working nicely now for the two buttons so now the only thing we need to go and do is to set the click events on this so if I click then the data must change on both of these fragments so let's see how we do that so if you remember that one correctly you go back to your car adapter and this is where we make the changes so first thing we're going to create an interface here so it's going to be public interface and let's call it item clicked again like in all of the other videos and we're going to have use uh, one method on item clicked and we're going to pass in an index value there so now before I carry on here I want to have my main activity extend that so I'm going to say not extend implement so we're going to say implements item clicked and you can see that it wants that method so you're going to say alt enter implement methods choose that one method and now it's got that item clicked that we defined there on item clicked okay so that method is there now we want to create an interface variable so it's going to be item clicked i'm going to call it activity why because i'm going to have this connected to the main activity then inside of my car adapter constructor i want to set this up now so i'm going to say activity equals converted to item clicked and using the context so remember that when we we, we used list frag and we said my adapter is this dot get activity this dot get activity will be the main activity is the one that that is hosting it so if we go back context is the main activity we're converting that main activity to an item clicked is it possible yes because it has implements item clicked at the top so that is possible won't throw an exception so ultimately this activity variable there is linked to main activity so now when we have this on click listener there we're going to link up to the activity by just saying activity dot and there's the method so now when it gets clicked here we call activity which is the main activity in the main activity we call on item clicked and it will activate this method now let's go back so what do we want to do here we want to go to our cars array list and we want to get the index of the object that was clicked so now to get the object that was clicked we're going to go to view there we're going to call get tag and that gets me the tag so remember there we set the tag of the object so the one that we that was clicked will now be cars dot get i wherever the i value is and we're going to convert that to a car type so now when the main activity when this method then runs we've got the index where it was clicked in the recycler view so now what do we want to do then if it gets clicked so obviously if it gets clicked we've got now a connection to uh, the text view tv model tv name tv telephone number the make which is the picture so there's four different things that we want to set there so let's just set them quickly so we're going to start with tv let's say tv name there dot set text and now we're going to go to our application class dot cars dot get and we're passing in that index so that gets me the object and we want to get the owner's name then the next text view there is the model we're going to set the text go to the application classes cars array list get the index again and then we're going to say get the model then tv tell to set the telephone number there will be set text application class dot cars dot get index again and this time we're going to call get the owner's telephone number so now we've basically set on our let me just run this quickly again uh, remember there's a text view oh sorry an image view that we're going to set now this text view will be the model then on the owner information we've got two text views which is the name and the telephone number so we've set them now so the last thing that we need to set is the picture and the picture depends on what is the make of that specific vehicle so we're going to go to the application classes cars variable there which is the list we're going to get the index where we're currently at where it was clicked and we're going to call get make and if that make equals now the same values that we did in the car adapter so we're basically going to do this whole thing again if it equals Volkswagen or Nissan or whatever so the first one there let's do the Volkswagen 
And then what we want to do is to go to that image view and we're going to set the image resource to r.drawable.volkswagen. Okay, so I'm going to do this the same way with the else part there. So else if it is not Volkswagen but Nissan, then this will become that picture and the else will just be for the Mercedes. So I'm going to copy, paste, and this one will be for Mercedes. Right, let's see if this works. So I'm going to run this quickly. Right, let's see. Okay, so now we can see that um, right at the start, nothing is set. Okay, but if I click, I've got that E200 with the picture. It's Peter Pollock. So if I go to owner information, I'll see Peter Pollock and its telephone number. Let's go to Navarro there at the bottom. So you can see it's Paul Bunting with his telephone number. If I click on car info, it's the Nissan Navarro. Okay, so it's working 100%. But when we started right at the start, it's not showing anything. So the only thing we'll need to do is somewhere inside of your onCreate, we can just call this method. So I'm going to call on item clicked and passing in the zero value there, which will click the very first item basically. So if you run this again, there we go. You can see that Polo and Chuck Norris is the very first one that was clicked. Okay, so now I think... Our application is done. Everything is working as it should. See you in the next one.